physics chapter 30 theory video 6 now we are going to discuss about ultrasound scanning uh, to talk about the basic principles of ultrasound uh, scanning we are going to consider uh, two of the many different uh, types of ultrasound scan that I, we, that are being used in medicine uh, the first one is a scan and the other one that we are going to discuss is the b scan a scan is the simplest type of scan where uh, a pulse of ultrasound is sent into the body and uh, the reflected echoes are detected uh, and displayed on an oscill oscilloscope uh, you know as a voltage time graph that means it will it will be uh, it will be seen as spikes uh, so uh, now this spike uh, now like this information about uh, the depth of reflecting tissue that is you know if you want to find uh, the thickness of something thickness of the bone or something like that then that can be found for using this so there is a time axis and a voltage difference so what happens is uh, here pulses want to look at this uh, figure 30.17 on your book as you can see pulses 1 2 and 3 are reflected at the various boundaries the first one first spike is the volt that is from that is the pulse that is sent from the transducer so now there are uh, now as you can see here so this is the surface uh, th this is the this is the thing that we are sending it through so as you can see there is the uh, ultrasound transducer is on a, on the gel so it is made with the it is made the same uh, made one with the uh, skin so now it is going through the muscle and then when it reaches uh, when it reaches point b it will get reflected so this is the reflection for this when it uh, reaches this boundary it gets reflected then when it reaches the uh, second boundary it will get reflected as well so this is the second uh, boundary and now here this is the uh, this is the boundary between uh, air and um, uh, the last boundary is the for beyond the muscle and air so you know uh, uh, a lot of uh, you know a lot of it would be lost so as a result uh, you know it gets reduced so as you can see the pulses 1 2 and 3 are reflected pulses so now the time base will tell us how long does it take uh, for each of these reflections to come through so now from b what is the time uh, you know how, how long does it take for the first pulse to come so if you know that time difference then we will be able to find out um, find out the thickness of the uh, bone or the muscle or whatever it is that we need to find for example now in this particular situation there is a gap this gap bc that is delta t here as you can see uh, after the first reflection the second one this reflection this time gap is for this to go in and come back i hope you it makes sense to you so that principle is used in calculations uh, so the delta t is the time taken for the ultrasound to travel twice the thickness of the bone right and the uh, boundary at d is going to be the time it takes for the entire length and to come back then we can figure out the uh, thickness of the bone using distance traveled by the sound divided by 2 that is c delta t divided by 2 is going to give us uh, that c is the ultrasound speed of, uh, of uh, ultrasound speed in the bone right we are not talking about the muscles we are talking about uh, the uh, bone now let's look at this worked example uh, this is really easy don't uh, think too much about this stuff 
just take to try to take the basic stuff in this particular part. In a particular A scan, uh, the time interval between pulse 1 and 2 is 12 uh, mi uh, mi microseconds. The speed of ultrasound in bone is about 4000 milliseconds, uh, meters per second. Sorry, determine the thickness of the bone. So, we have to figure out the distance traveled by the ultrasound in the time interval of 12 microseconds. So, we know the equation is speed into time. A distance is equal to 4000 multiplied by 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 to convert it into uh, seconds. Then we will get 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters is the distance it has traveled. Then the thickness of the bone is, now that is the distance it has traveled in, uh, that is 2 times bone it goes through twice uh, because of the reflection. It is about the reflection we are talking about. It has to go from one surface to the next and come back. So, the thickness of the bone is uh, when 4.18 to the power minus 2 divided by 2 that is going to be 2.4 centimeters. Um, uh, and also you must remember that uh, when, because ultrasound waves are uh, gradually attenuated, they become weakened uh, when passing through the body because of the absorption, uh, the echoes from deep tissues are not going to be uh, uh, detected very effectively. So, they have to be amplified. Um, usually, uh, A scans are usually used for uh, a straightforward procedures such as, uh, you know, measure the thickness of the eye lens, uh, etc. So, for those things uh, and easier and simple processes, they use it. B scan is actually, uh, we use many a scans, we put it together to see a kind of a cross section or the area, uh, the area of a particular of, of the body can be uh, seen as a two dimensional uh, image. Uh, what happens is uh, now each reflected pulse is going to be uh, is going to be is going to determine uh, determine at what depth it is going to be. So this this depth is going to be reflected on a surface, uh, and uh, that that surface is going to uh, on on a you know the, when it when these reflected uh, when when the uh, ultrasound goes into the body and when it, when it is getting reflected from a surface, the depth is taken into account and uh, shown on the screen. So, these dots will ultimately get together to produce an image uh, that can be seen uh, as a kind of a uh, 2D image. We cannot see the depth. However, uh, th that will give us a basic uh, understanding as to how, uh, how the uh, internal organs or whatever we are looking at is uh, uh, generally placed. So, this is uh, this is what happens in a B scan display. You will see this uh, the uh, ultrasound transducer is moved on the surface, and uh, when it com comes through, we will actually see this kind of a uh, image. Um, so this is the this is the typical uh, typical image that you will see. It is not very clear, but it is highly useful. Write down. There are many different types of ultrasound scans. We will be looking at A and A scan and B scan below. A scan. A pulse of ultrasound is sent into the body and the reflected echoes are detected and displayed on an oscilloscope or a computer screen as a voltage time graph. As a result, each reflection would be shown as a peak. 
so you might want to draw this figure 30.17 I hope you understood uh, how the thickness of the bone was taken into consideration. I, I am not going to give you a note on that, but you will you'll have to remember that. Then B scan, using many A scans, a 2D image is built up on a screen by positioning the dots to represent the position of the reflecting surface and with brightness determined by the intensity of the reflection. Brighter dots show more reflected ultrasound. I hope you um, uh, understood. Uh, if you did understand, please do question number 16 and 17. If you didn't understand, please uh, let me know, then we will, uh, I will explain it further.